we, as an artist myself, you know, um, I see in myself a tendency sometimes to uh, think in the same way, you know, to think to approach something in a way that I've been approaching it all along. And, uh, you know, just sort of think that the solution to a problem is always, well, it's, it's this kind of problem, so it's this. And, and the way that, I think it's brilliant the way that you come at things differently. That's what I mean by uh, not, not thinking of things creatively the way that other people would get, you know, even just in the games, you know, the way, there's a lot of games that kind of all just go in this direction and the way that you think about it is always very uh, innovative in my opinion. 積もうと思ってそんなことを計画でできる人はいないと思うんですよね。毎回毎回これで最後でこれ以上のものは作れないという思いでやってきたんですけども、ふと振り返ってみると28年間やってた。All of the Metal Gears, but this one was special to me because of all the years of working with Harry and all the direction you guys had with that and then also to be able to work directly for Hideo. And um, all I can say is it was an honor. There, there wasn't any bad for me whatsoever at any point. で、well, for me, you know, I strive to find a balance in my life between work and family and joy, you know, recreation, surfing, whatever it is. And uh, I think that's everywhere in life. Uh, and video games, certainly. It's very hard to, uh, it, you can have every element. Uh, you can have a brilliant story, uh, great actors, um, great animators. The whole thing can be perfect, but when it comes together, it's hard to tell <laughs> how it's going to turn out. Um, but I think you found a great balance, obviously, and great success uh, with Metal Gear. For a long time, that <laughs> came out amazing. But literally, you have created something that has become so much bigger than what I think even you imagined it could be. Because so many of the great games that we have out right now, or the games that are being made right now, you inspire people to make a better game because of the games that you have created. Um, so for me, to be, a, to be a part of that legacy, that legend, uh, means more to me than you'll ever know. So thank you for the memories. about this game what stands out to me it's the memories you make in the gameplay of the, t the first time so I you know I'm, I'm upgrading it I'm using my GMP I'm upgrading my Fulton I've been forever like I want to upgrade mother base I want mother base to be awesome so I'm driving and driving and driving and having the Fulton ready to carry out the cargo and when I finally got it I went out on my first side op and it was like t it was the first of take out the tank artillery or whatever and I come over the hill and there's a tank sitting there with four, two guys on each side and I was like, yes. And I snuck up behind him, choked out each one of the guys. Then I, before the tank had any idea, Fulton out the tank right there. And I was like, this is a dream come true because for 20 hours I've been dreaming of doing this. It's fun for me because having you know written about games and cover games for so long, it's so predictable sometimes how people, um, you know, reveal information about games. And I love that, you know, games are about, like, you know, playing with people's emotions. And I think you do a great job uh, in the, the marketing and positioning of the game. So it's fun for me. It's fun for the fans, right? I mean, what I love about it is it connects back to sometimes the themes of your games and you really deeply think about these things. 
um, and that's what I like. It all comes from you as a creator, and some creators are very focused on just the game, but I think you think of the whole picture of sort of how you want to, you know, work with the fans and give them a journey along the way until they get to play the game. Because it's hard for a lot of these fans, they hear about the game, they have to wait years to be able to play it. So I think you always have, uh, have fun with the fans as well, and I think they appreciate it. まあ、ミッシングリンクの円環を保管するってことでこれあんまりまだゲームプレイされてないので皆さんに言えないんですけど、えー、どういう保管の仕方が円環をつなぐ仕方がいいのかってずっとこう、まあ、法ぐらいから考えてたんですけど、ね、でその一つの答えが今回の、えー、メタルギアソリッド5なのでファンの方は多分喜んでもらえると思います。あの誰もがやったこことないことをチャレンジしてますのでしかもゲームでしかできなかったことをしてますし28年間というシリーズじゃないと不可能なことをやっているので、うんまあ、ぜひ喜んでいただければと思います。Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. Nicole. So, this is for Thank you. memory. Thank you. I've been the expert. Paul. That's my father. Thank you. 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 Thank ようやく完成したということでショーンさんも僕らのスタッフの仲間ということでそのお礼を兼ねて完成の報告をさせていただくということで。Well, I wanted to thank him because Sean was very sick and he'd been doing chemo for so long that the medicine didn't make him feel better anymore. So he'd do a full day of chemo and he'd come home and he'd sit in front of the video games and he'd play and that would make him feel better. He could run and he could jump and he could do things that he couldn't do with his body anymore. So for him it was a way of Getting through the chemotherapy, so it was very important to us. And like I said, he was so thrilled when he got his gift. And you know, it was four days he passed. But we sent that picture of you, and you can see the smile on his face because he was so excited. ショーン君っていう亡くなられたファンの方の方向に行きましたけど僕のやっぱりこのエネルギーっていうのはやっぱりユーザーの皆さんですねで、まあ、例えばメタルギアソリッド5を大体この辺で発売しますと発表した限り何があろうとどんなことがあろうとも皆さんの期待を超えるものを作らないとまあ僕の存在意味はないのでそこだけですねでそういう人たちからエネルギーをもらって、まあ、ここまで来れたのでそういう意味ではユーザーの皆さんにとのその一緒に作ってくれた仲間たちにはお礼を言いたかった。最後の最後まで、えー、可能な限り、えー、挑戦も含めて、えー、メタルギアソリッド5を作り込みましたので、えー、安心して遊んでいただけるものになっていると思います、えー、結構長い間お待たせしましたけど、えー、そのまあそのまた回がある仕上がりになっていると思いますのでぜひ楽しんでください本当にありがとうございます